Hey guys, Scarl here. Got a new product in from Duke Audio and Little Bear. It's the EQ5 Mini. So let's go over this, let's unbox it, go over the details, and see what it's all about. So let me just aim you down here and get this going. We're just gonna jump right into it. You know how I do everything. Um just got this in about an hour ago and so I wanted to rush up here and get everything ready to unbox and uh, show it to you guys just so I can also use it right away too <laughs> so let's see what we got here <clears throat> all right we have the user manual which is double-sided for whatever reason, both English. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but anyways, it just talks about the, uh, <clears throat> about the basics of it. Uh, let's see. Total hallmark distortion, 0.003% at one kilohertz. Working voltage is five volts. 500 milliamp takes type C and I mean that's pretty much it I mean it covers the stuff that's on the EQ itself nothing real uh, nothing nothing that uh that we won't go over ourselves so let's see okay wow okay wow Okay, this is way, way smaller than I thought. Holy, holy crap. Okay, which that's not a problem. Okay, and also it comes with some rubber feet. Let me see if I can get that to focus. No, nope, of course not. Some nice rubber feet. Stop them from vibrating around on your desk or wherever you may have it mounted. And that's it. It also comes with the uh, Type-C USB cord. So, nothing more than what you need. Okay. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. I don't know why. It's your common Type-C cord. Okay. Okay. This thing is way smaller than I thought. Like, this is the box knife I just used to cut that open. I mean, in the pictures on uh, eBay where I got it from, from their eBay store, I mean, it does look a little bit bigger. Like, if you look at their uh, EQ7 Pro, I mean, it's, you know, twice as big all around. Okay, wow, yeah. So the good thing about this is it will fit just about anywhere on your computer desk or in your uh, on your office desk or wherever you may put it. Wow, I can't believe how small this thing is. Okay, well, let's go over this. All right, so this is a five band EQ if you can't tell already. Um, Man, I wish that would focus. But. Okay. Here we have the power on and off switch. Simple. 100 hertz. 400 hertz. 800 hertz. 4 kilohertz. And I think, was it 10 kilohertz? Was that looking? Yeah. 10 kilohertz. And then you have a EQ... And then bypass or pass through, if you will, which is great because if you want to see how this sounds with or without the EQ, you know, you can just turn this on, listen to it with it on and turn it off and see how you want to compare. So that's pretty awesome. All right, the back, 
pretty simple. 3.5 in, 3.5 out, RCA in, RCA out, and then your USB, your USB-C type connection. Super simple, nothing fancy. I mean, this EQ goes for anywhere from like $40 to $60. I think I picked mine up for uh, like $44 bucks shipped. So, pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. <clears throat> so, the overall construction of this is nice. Metal case. Nice metal knobs. Smooth rolling. No incremental uh, type knobs or whatever you wouldn't call it. Nice and smooth. And I like this gold all around it. It's pretty nice. It should, I mean, it. I think it would blend in with most systems unless you have a silver setup. But, you know, even if you have a black setup, the silver doesn't stick out enough to uh, be gaudy or anything like that. I still can't believe how small this is. I mean, I know it says EQ Mini, but yeah, it's Mini, all right. So, um, I don't know of any other equalizer in this price range that compares. I mean, they have the EQ Pro, which I think is like the same setup. And then it has the VU meters, and it also has Bluetooth in it. And um, a couple other things in it. So, um, and it all has volume too, which I'm kind of glad this doesn't have volume on it. I don't uh, particularly care for an EQ with the volume knob on it. Like their EQ7 Pro, it's a great equalizer, and I'll go over that in another video. It has a volume knob on it, and I kind of wish it didn't. That way I could just utilize the main volume on the uh, receiver. But that's okay. Uh, let me see. What else? So, the reason you may want to add an equalizer is if, say, you listen to some poor recordings, like you stream YouTube music all the time, like I do. I use the uh, my television through the shit audio DAC Modi 3 to my PlayStation 5 and then through the Fossi Audio BT30D and um, sometimes the music on there is just so poor or uh, audio uh, vocals and stuff like that and so you can use an EQ to easily boost or decrease certain noises that you don't want noises um and what's great is this is around the four kilohertz mark if it was a little bit lower around two kilohertz that would be a little bit better but four kilohertz will still knock that down and and this is variable so it's not like you're just raising 10 kilohertz four kilohertz and eight kilo 800 kilohertz so i'm sure that 100 kilohertz probably dips down to around 50 and and goes up to you know around 300 or so and and vice versa with the 400 and so on um, so you're going to be covering quite a wide, a wide range. And as I was saying, you know, like rock music, especially like if you listen to heavy metal, like I do all the time, like death metal, um, you know, some of my favorite bands like Dying Fetus and Cannibal Corpse and Vehemence, some of that can be a little, little, uh, a little noisy, you know, so you might want to dial down that 10 kilohertz and that four kilohertz, and that 800 kilohertz a little bit, raise the rest a little bit, you know, Hmm. So, yeah, the EQ5 Mini from Duke Audio, $40 to $60 currently in 2023. I don't know of any other equalizer that could beat this for the price. Um, maybe if you find one used, you know, from another brand, but this is it, I think. This right here is a good product, so, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. The EQ5 Mini from Duke Audio. That's all from me. See you later.